Welcome everybody to our Job Nimbus 101 workshop today. We are so excited for you all to join us as we talk about what's new in Job Nimbus. And what's new? We have an update that will seriously upgrade your estimates and we're excited to show it off. I'm Dan. I'm Logan. We're so happy to have you with us today for the very first webinar of the new year, at least Job Nimbus 101 workshop webinar anyway. Like Dan said, we have an awesome new estimate feature to talk to you about. A lot of our customers have been asking for good, better, best estimates. The ability to create one estimate with three different subtotals, and then easily after your customer chooses one, cut it down to just the estimate that they've chosen. It gives you a ton of flexibility in the way you do your bidding and helps you get more jobs. And now Job Nimbus makes it super easy. This new feature also makes it a lot easier to separate different estimates into work orders based on their trades. And today we're gonna to talk to you about how you can use our new sections feature to work on those two use cases in your job Nimbus account. The first thing that we have to do is go in and make some small tweaks to our existing estimate templates. Let's show you what's new in the template. So let's go ahead and create an estimate template just to show you what is new that you can tweak in your own. For starters, we have the two new options up here in the top. We have show section descriptions and show overall estimate totals. If we come down here, we'll see that we have this new area of description, the section de description right here. So this right here will either show or not show that section description. If you're creating a good, better, best or a multi-trade estimate, we suggest that you have these section descriptions on. That way you can title the section and then add a description for the section telling you what's in that section. And the next thing is the overall estimate totals. Down here at the bottom, we have the total, which sums up all of your line items or all of your section subtotals. If we turn it off, that goes away right here. If you're creating a good, better, best estimate, we suggest that you turn this off. That way you're only showing the section subtotals. If you're creating a multi-trade estimate, go ahead and keep it on. That way your client can that way your client can see the total for your entire estimate. Now that we've gone over the new options in your estimate template, let's go ahead and go into a contact so we can show you how to create these new estimates. Anytime we're making an estimate in Job Nimbus, the first thing we have to do is head to our financials and click on add estimate. Here we are inside an estimate. We then need to choose a design template that fits the sort of use case estimate we're working with. Right now, I'm gonna show you what a good, better, best estimate could look like. So we're gonna use this template right here. You'll notice that when I select that, I get a note down at the bottom that says, this design template will not show customers overall estimate totals, which is exactly what we want. The next thing we are gonna do is we're gonna add in a section, drag that up to the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in two more sections right now so I don't have to worry about it later. Then I'm gonna give a title. This will be good, better, and best. Now let's just work from left to right on one of these new section headlines. So we've got our item name or our section name, then the description that Dan turned on earlier. This is really useful for you in the field where you can say, all right, this is a roof that has these particular features Something that I often see on good, better, best estimates is the length of the warranty or how much wind it's rated for, things like that. Uh, I, not being in the field, I'm just gonna use something very simple. This is a good roof. Next, we have something that's already existed, which is our three different options for showing line items under our sections. We can just show the line items with their individual prices hide the line item amounts, so their prices, how many of the object there is, but keep the name and description, or hide the line items altogether, in which case we would only see the section header. My suggestion generally on a good, better, best estimate is to hide the line item amounts, but you can find any of these three useful in your business. The next thing we're gonna do is decide if we're going to show the section total. Now, when we're making a good, better, best estimate, we absolutely wanna show the section total, this will tell us how much our total line items in that section is worth, which is very important since we're not showing it at the bottom. In this case, I'm gonna leave it on for all of them. 
if I was instead working on the multi-trade estimate, I would turn this off so that I was only showing the total at the bottom. I don't really care about the individual section totals unless I'm bidding for each section individually. So that's how we're gonna go about building this through the magic of pre-preparation like Kitchen Wizard Rachel Ray. I'm gonna show you the finished estimate right now. Here we have our good, better, best estimate. So good, a good roof and the amount is shown on the side. And you'll also see the line items here underneath. And then we have our better and our best. And you'll notice that the estimate total you're used to does not appear here down at the bottom. So we've got our good, better, best estimate with three different bids. We can now send this out to our customer or show it to them if, they're in, if we're in their home and let them choose. Then it's just a matter of removing the sections that they don't want. So our client came back to us and told us, hey, I don't really like the good section and I don't really like the best option. Best option is a bit too much. Let's go with the better option. So let's now it's time for us to go ahead and go in and edit the estimate and remove these other sections. So let's go in and edit. Now there's quite a few line items here I don't want to delete individually. Job Nimbus has got your back. All we have to do is click this X to the side of the section header. Job Nimbus is going to ask us, do you really want to delete this section and all of the line items in it? Yes, yes I do. Let's go ahead and do it again for the best option. And I want to delete the entire section. And here we are left with the better option. I can go ahead and rename the section title. And as a, just like Logan, I'm not really in the field. So we're going to name it roofing project with a nine because that's how it's spelled. No, just kidding. Uh, we can a, rename the description, but if we have our terms and conditions in the description, we don't wanna rename that. I'm not going to rename it. And then we save the estimate. There we have it an estimate with just the better option. But let's say we're doing a multi-trade estimate. We're not going to delete the sections for the next phase of the estimate. We need to instead break this out into work orders. I'll go ahead and show you the our multi-trade estimate here. We have a section for the roofing trade, gutters, and siding. As you see, we have hidden the line item amounts. And we have also hidden the section totals. Instead, we have the entire estimate totaling at the bottom. Well, if we need to break this out into work orders for our subcontractors, it's really simple. All we have to do is go ahead and convert it to a work order. And then just like the good, better, best estimate, we delete the entire section with its line items. And Bob's your uncle, we're left with a work order for just the roofing portion. Now, if I wanted to to create a work order for the gutters and the siding. I just have to go and convert this twice more to work order and then delete the roofing and the siding or the roofing and the gutters. And we can now send these three work orders out to our subcontractors. Job Nimbus has worked really hard in creating this to make it as simple to use as possible for you. So you can create amazing, good, better, best estimates and amazing, multi-trade estimates for your clientele. Now we do have one final note before we wrap up our instruction today. And that is if you are using an estimate with sections, but you're not using a good, better, best estimate and you're not exactly doing a multi-trade and you wanna have some of your line items not part of one of these sections, then what you need to do is you need to put the line items up at the top. That way the sections will be made of just the things that are under them. Your free line items sit at the top. This isn't useful when you're making a good, better, best, or usually when you're making a multi-trade because you want all of your items under a section to be easily deleted. But if you see another use case in your business where you'd like some under a section and some not, that's the best way to take that and do that. Now, if you've got any questions at all about our estimates, our sections, or any section of Job Nimbus that's not estimates, you can reach out to our support team using the information that we have right here 
via phone, email, or even chatting directly from Job Nimbus. If you'd rather learn on your own time, we have a ton of information, including about these new sections in our knowledge base at support.jobnimbus.com. Or you can check out a bunch of our previous videos on YouTube, where we try and keep an archive of all the great knowledge that Dan and I have accumulated about Job Nimbus 